The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials down nine. You get the Nasdaq up seven. S and P's are off uh, one and a half. We have the gold contract up sixteen dollars and eighty cents at one thousand three forty-three an ounce. Silver is up uh, forty cents at nineteen dollars and seventy-seven cents an ounce. Platinum up nineteen bucks at a thousand ninety-two. You have copper up uh, half a penny at 208 a pound. Light sweet crude down 46 cents, $43.97 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year note up 11 ticks, 131.04. 30 year bond up 27 ticks, 170.11. Good old king dollar down 634 ticks, 95.21. The euro is at a buck 12, and the yen is at 102 and a half. Welcome back to uh, the fall. What happened in the summer? What happened to the summer? I think, so, I think it's technically, not technically, but it might as well be over, right? It, for, for, for trading, per, for the trading purposes, there there's no doubt about that. And right at 10 o'clock, folks, uh, you had the uh, gold contract go up, you had the Dow go down, you had the dollar go down, and what that was all about was, uh, let's see what they're saying about the U.S. American service uh, industries expanded in August at the weakest pace in six years, joining manufacturers in an abrupt slowdown that may signal... Uh, Want, that may signal wanting optimism about the economy. The waning optimism. Waning, thank you. The Institute, Institute for Supply Management Non-Manufacturing Index slumped to 51.4, the lowest since February 2010, from 55 in July. Um, bottom line is that uh, it's going to be still all about <laughs> uh, what is the Fed going to do and, uh, you know, what's the yin and the yang, okay? How does that play out? Sure. Are, we, are we going up in December or not? Um, the probability um, hasn't changed, uh, you know, since the number came out. That's for, uh, the probability right now in September is 30 percent, in November is 36, and December is the first time it gets over 50, which is 58.7. So uh, out here today, um, let, me, let me go take a look inside the Dow versus uh, what's the so the mover inside the Dow is you get McDonald's up 1.8%, uh, Boeing is up 9 tenths, Intel's up 6 tenths, uh, the laggard is Disney's down 8 tenths, GE's off 8 tenths, United Technologies down 8 tenths. We look at the NDX100, we have uh, Baidu.com is uh, up 5%, JD.com is up 4, two China stocks, uh, NetEase is up uh, 3 Yahoo is up 2.7. Now, you know what this must be? This is, that's going to be about Alibaba stock. Yeah. BABA, -B -A, because that's what Yahoo trades on now, folks. Yeah, Alibaba is up 3.5%. Sure. So they own so much uh, Alibaba stock. That's why, that's why that baby's up. Uh, Taken away from it, uh, C-Trip is down 4.2%. You have Dish Networks off 2.2%. Viacom is off 1.9%. And looks like, Practice supply is down 1.9. Uh, we go over to that gold contract and take a look at it. So gold right now, folks, is going to be a big uh, big day in gold, and this is why. The, where it, you, you, you get a downdraft that was out there from what is that, the 5th of August. Uh, that's when we went from 1371 to 1340. You did 222,000 contracts. Then it had given it up again on August 20th. We did 300,000. So your benchmark is that uh, 1346, and we've already made 1344. You know, if you launch that, meaning we get over that and we have some juice, yeah, it, it can go higher. Um, we'll see when it comes up to it, because that's also setting up. You can see that supply line is pretty clean at that level. And we already have 155,000 contracts there. Right? We do. Yeah, that's a big number. That's, that's, that's a big number. It's nah. more than most of the days already. At just yeah, it is. Not the it big is. days. No, but, no, it you know, is. Oh, it is. It's more than most there's, there's, usual days. There's no and doubt. It's that, only 10 o'clock. That right. And that goes till when? 1.30 or 2.30? 1.30. 1.30. 1.30. And you can see right there that 10-minute bar did sure. 17,000 contracts. Yep. 
Uh, we go over to the dollar, and this is where it's going to get the, the fight is on here in a, in a big way. Um, I think the, let me see. So there's 1,200 contracts. The dollar should be rolling right now. This dollar index rolls really late. No, it's, it's, still, it's still on September. That's amazing, man. Okay, so we're still on the September contract. So we're at 8,000 contracts right now, and that's weak. That's weak. If, it, you know, if the dollar holds price, you're going into uh, 41,000 contracts as well as last Friday it rejected lower price at 34,000. So the battle's on here about our rates uh, going up uh, or not going up. Yeah, and we'll find out. Oh, yeah. There, there's, December's there's, going to be here before we know it, especially when is, we get two months before the elections pretty much now. And I know. that's going to go quick. Um, and then, you know, in between that and December, there's going to be a lot happening in terms of that. We'll go quick. So we'll be there before we know it. I know, man. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It just, it just, in terms of like the final few weeks running up to the election, you know, that's going to be a quick time with a decent amount of speculation, volatility probably, depending on what's being said, the polls, yep. et cetera, regardless who's taken what. Um, lots the, of news. The three debates. All, 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 of those, <laughs> oh, all, boy. Of, all of those times will definitely, um, I suspect, have an impact on the market, you know. It'd be interesting to be watching that market live on some of those debates because yeah. I, I anticipate there's going to be some moments that we'll, we'll be able to move those futures within those debates. And, and it will. Yeah. Yeah. And Asia will be open. Sure. And our futures, you know, those yeah. will be so. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are down uh, 12. NASDAQ is uh, up 6. S&Ps are down 2. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now.
toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down uh, 29. You get the NASDAQ up four. S&Ps are down uh, two. And as you come over to our website, at TFNN, folks, you're going to see uh, this is going to be uh, the last day to take it. Well, it's, today's a big day, right? Today is the 750th edition of the Gold Report. 14 and a half years. That's kind of a mind blower. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy, man. Um, and we're doing a celebration. And uh, we started this uh, on um, Friday. Um, it, it ends tonight, uh, and what you can do is that uh, normally the gold report, folks, when you're paying on a monthly basis, is 1085 a year. You can get a full year for $750. 1020 1020 okay. And um, so you can get a full year for $750. That's one part of the promotion. Uh, se in a separate promotion is the Tiger Dollar Sale. Uh, the Tiger Dollar Sale, we do this a few times a year. Um, this one here happens to be quite a bonus. Uh, the first buy would be you could buy $600 in Tiger Dollar. You, you, yeah, go for it. Buy $600. You, get you seven, spend $600, spend, right? And you get $750 in Tiger Dollars. Yep. Um, no expiration date, totally transferable, good for all the products at TFNN. Now the se and that's where we get the $750 from. The yep. second one, it gets really intriguing because you can buy $1,500. And you get a 50% bonus, which I don't believe we've done in about a decade. Uh, we're talking in decades and 14 years. Yeah, at least this stuff. decade, I think, was the... This decade. Takes it back like six years. Okay. I mean, when you first launched it, I think you guys, we, we did like 100% bonus as a launch for the original Tiger Dollar. And that's the only sale right. that we could think of that was better than this. So okay. just to put it that... And okay. that was literally the first time the program was started. Right. Um, so, and I don't envision doing that ever again. Yeah. Just, you know what I mean? That was just such a... Basically, it cut everything in half, 50%, you know, so. Right. So this is, a, it is, it's an awesome sale. But it makes sense, right? You either get 750 you end up with, or yeah. you get the bonus of 750 and that's where we were. So, and like you're saying, they're separate. You don't need to, if you take this, you know, spend 600 you get 750 You don't need to apply that to the Gold Report. We just put it at a price point where it's perfect, where if you want to sign up for the Gold Report, maybe, or, right. you know, you can use it for any subscription. Steve Rhodes, John Logan, Basil Chapman, Dave White, um, Andy Hecht, all the above. Larry, Larry, yeah. Larry Pesavento, exactly. Um, and yeah, so I encourage people to check it out. The gold report just came out. You got gold with some volatility, that's for sure. Oh, there's, no, there's no doubt, man. The, and, um, the, the volatility's here. And the battle's on. That's right. The battle's on. Now here, I, I gotta show you something, folks. And you know, if you're in this gold market, um, you, you wanna wrap your head around this a little. So if we go over to South Africa, now this is pretty cool because you know, gold's still up today. They got the equities up. You know, gold was still up, and that didn't matter to the equities in South Africa or Australia last night, folks. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see. Right now, we get these equities up pretty good, um, and we'll see whether they can hold. But if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, this is gold fields in South Africa. And they, uh, they went to higher price and then gave it up and gave it up in spades. Um, if we go over to Australia, you're going to see the same deal, which is pretty wild because, you know, what you normally have, particularly, oops, oh, I just went by it, number eight, is that the metals, the equities like to move with the, sorry, number seven, like to move with the metal. And last night in Australia and in South Africa, they didn't. So if I go into materials, then I go into metals and mining. Metals and mining. Then I go into gold. Then I go into Newcrest. Um, a lot of these might not be familiar with it, but NCM, NC, M, A, T is one of the largest gold companies um, in the world. And that couldn't hold price either, you know? So it's kind of interesting. Now, what is interesting, too, is that, you know, this probably, this, this must trade in the U.S. too, but it doesn't trade, uh, I, I gotta pull it up first, but what, what it, 
Inside the GDX, this is one of the largest, uh, this is a waiting structure, not a big one, but inside the GDX also. Okay. So it was intriguing la last night watching, even this morning, watching how they were trading in South Africa as well as, uh, you know, Australia. <coughs> you yeah. Know? Now, our own equities, if we go over to Wrangell Resources, which is one of the best um, equities out there in the gold market, you know, Wrangell uh, made a low last week of 93 bucks. You're at 102 right now. Um, Wrangell did have good volume on Friday. Now today's today's the like can it handle the 102 dollars and 64 cents? That's going to be one of the numbers because you can see when you're looking at this chart, there's a lot of different places where it's going to hit some resistance. That's going to be the first one. Sure. Just because of that downdraft. So, so the bulls and bears are going to be fighting it out out here. Um, my take, just so you can, you know. I'll give you a little bit of clarity if you do come over and get the... I, I'm still bearish inside that market, folks. I don't think this correction is over yet. Um, and I, I think it has to do with the aspect that we're 90 days away from December and, you know, the bottom line is that the market, people coming back to work, the market's going to say, you know, you're going to go up a quarter point. Not that a quarter point's not even a lot. It's going to be the perception of what it is. And I think what simultaneous is going to happen is that the broad market itself is going to pull back and that's never good for the gold equities. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. We will see. That's right. Yeah. Time will tell. I know, man. Totally. So September, you know, what's so funny. I Labor Day for me since I was like maybe 20 always has been like the start of a new year. Okay. And what it had to do with, I think, is that, you know, you're just starting school. Or you, sure. you know what I mean? It's sure. just like, okay, you know, January in, the, yeah. in Boston. Especially you're in the, when you're a kid. That's, that's yeah. the true definition, yeah. actually, is that right. you go back to school and start a new year. Yeah. So that's, so let's go, let's see what this year is going to bring, you know. The, starting football, too. Oh, I couldn't believe last night. Folks, if you saw this game, I turned it off. But Florida, Florida was playing over Florida Mississippi. Yeah. yeah. And they were getting killed. Yeah. And I look at the headlines this morning, and they came, came back, back, and they yeah. beat them. Yeah. They were getting killed. It was yeah. like... I just watched, I watched some of it. I did, but I didn't catch the ending either. Yeah. And it's a, there's, a great, there's a great series on also, uh, on Discovery, folks. Uh, Harley and the Davisons. It's, the begin it's, it's going to be three episodes, the beginning of Harley Davison. And it's, it's, it's good. I, the first episode was phenomenal. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's get over and we take a look at the uh, oil market because oil, it looks to me like oil wants to do an ABC structure on the way down. Oil had a big day. Um, look at this. I was looking at this this spike and sure. it's, it's actually real. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The, w overnight, folks, what ended up happening is that uh, the oil market got all the way up to 46.53. We're at 44.06, and what happened is that it looked like um, the market itself wasn't believing that Russia and um, the Saudis were going to basically either freeze or stop production. Not stop production, but, you know, adhere to sure. the, they wanted. Uh, and, man, if you want to see a quick sell-off? Watch this, folks. This thing, you know. And yep. it was, yeah, see, it was more so when we were closed yesterday. It just says one bar right now. When we were closed, that was yesterday, well, right? Yes, Is that the fifth. Football. Yeah, that's when it spiked. Came back down, but on my screen, it looks like one bar. Okay. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. 
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The uh, Dow right now uh, is down 22. You get the NASDAQ uh, off uh, 2. Uh, no, NASDAQ's flat. S&P's are down 2. So check this out. This is going to get wild uh, watching how this shakes out. Um, I got to find the story again. So in Switzerland, folks, um, bottom line is that the, this negative rate um, is getting folks uh, to stash cash in a huge way. Can't find it right now. Um, a there was a story out here this morning, and, and we'll, uh, I'll try to find it at the commercial that the, the Swiss population, whether, you know, it's, I don't know if the individuals or corporations, um, but they're stashing cash to the tune of, you're talking about 500,000 millions of dollars. Sure. And the, the, the reason that they know it is that they're going to the insurance companies, asking them to insure it. Okay. You know? Yeah. Uh, so it's, 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 it's really wild because when I was, I didn't read the whole article yet, but when I saw the headline, I says, wow, that's interesting because I'm wondering what the insurance rate would be on that versus what the negative rate would be, sure. you know? Yeah. You know, so it seems like that's a dicey business to be insuring cash when you say, oh, I lost that cash. I lost that cash. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah. Way to go. Okay. So, cause if we go over to, let's go over to Switzerland and we take a look at, let's see, we'll take a look at the five year. That's intense. The five, call it, call it my, almost minus one. Yeah. Right? Yeah, minus 0.9, essentially. And the two years so is... minus 1%. At, at, at 1% it cost you. Yeah. That's... that's yeah. On a million bucks, that's 10 grand, though. Right. Who knows? I don't know what the market is. It's almost, it's almost a grand a month. That's right. Yeah. That'd be pretty wild, huh? Uh, but, I, I wouldn't know, want to insure a million dollars if you're only paying me a grand a month. I know. Just look at it the other way. No, I know. Saying. There, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. There's no doubt. I need a thousand months to get my money back for when one problem goes wrong. Right. Right. I mean, that's right. Literally, amazing. Yeah. Uh, let's go take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here, um, and I suspect you know we'll take a look at it. But uh, we very well may get a low volume market out here today. Pretty calm so far. Yeah, it is. You get Micron uh, Technologies up twenty five cents. Um, Navistar International. What is that takeover? It's up seven dollars. Let's take a look at this. What's going on with Navistar? So Navistar is up seven dollars and seventy-eight cents, which is also fifty percent. Yeah, just to put in. 
Look at that. Navista. Uh, they go from bankruptcy to, to a Volkswagen partnership. Yep. Volkswagen will buy a stake in Navista International to gain a foothold in the U.S. heavy truck market, taking a gamble on a struggling U.S. manufacturer as the Germany company um, still grapples with the uh, fallout from the emission <laughs> yeah. cheating standard scandal. PHTC. We got to see this. I got to see this because it's saying that Carl Icahn is in this. Oh my God. Look, what a score that is. Look at that. Carl Icahn, folks. Owns 19.9%. Yeah. Well, this is probably him, too. I wonder if MHK Fund is him, MHR. Too. MHR. Avenue of the Americans. Why would you say that? Just Because the, the way that a lot of these companies run is that, yeah, they'll, they'll have um, more than... They, Kyle Eichhorn owns a lot of companies. Do you know what I'm saying? So he might have one company buying that much and another company buying that much. Do you know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah. So. I, he could be any of those 17 then. He wouldn't necessarily have to be. Yeah, no, no, I understand I, that. I bet I'm, this is uh, him. I'm, 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 just, look, I'm looking at the big ones. Bottom line is that <laughs> at 19.2 million. Yeah, he's made $100 million to put it real quick. And if we go, let's go back to this. I remember, I think I remember the stock trading like in the pennies. No, it's five dollars. Oh, you know what they did though? It wasn't the pennies. It was a reverse split. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. So the stock stock traded seventy nine dollars in oh eight. Crashes to sixteen. Goes back up to seventy one. Look at that. And it comes all the way down to 575. Not bad. Yeah. And that's when I imagine the auto companies were falling apart as this was cascading down the whole. I'm, I'm yeah, just and guessing, but that no, would no, probably have to no, do no, with for all sure, of that. For sure. Yeah. And I guess the uh, trucking business uh, in particular. Let's go to John in Philly. Hey, John, what's going on? Good morning, Tom and Tommy. How are you both? Good morning, John. Great, man, yourself? Uh, very good, thank you. Good. Say, uh, Tommy, I uh, I called in, and uh, your producer uh, probably flashed that I was interested in TLT, and and frankly, Tommy, that is not what I'm actually interested in. Uh, I didn't know what ticker to use. Uh, wanted to mention this and ask if you can give us your your read, please, because I suspect you've thought about it. Um, the uh, Fed funds rate is likely to go up. You've talked about that. Uh, Three-month T-bill rates are sitting there at about 30 basis points, and commercial paper rates are, are closer to 1% for three-month paper. And, Tommy, this, I suspect, has to do with the new money market fund regulations that the SEC is imposing come October where money market funds will have floating net asset value uh, uh, levels for everything that is not U.S. government paper. So there's been a shift of big institutional money out of uh, bank and industrial commercial paper in the Treasury bill uh, rates so that the commercial paper rates on the non-treasury paper is now trading at a much higher yield. I'm just wondering what implication you think that has for us as we move forward. You know, it, it's hard to tell. The, the biggest implication I suspect it's going to have is that the people that have been used to money market rates forever, which is all of us, <laughs> um, the way the money market, when this first started, folks, was that you had a money market. The money market, this with Merrill Lynch, you know, basically started this whole thing, and it was the Merrill Lynch, first Merrill Lynch credit card and all this going back, and then Fidelity did it. I think we're going back to almost 1980. Um, and you were always used to putting it in a money market, and you always, it was always valued at a dollar, so you'd always get a dollar back. Well, what happened is that during the downdraft in 2008, um, the first money market, well, the first big one blew up. 
And all it did, what happened is this, it only went under by like a penny and a half, but that was enough for the SEC and the business in general, and the, the company got in trouble because it's like, okay, no, it's not worth a dollar anymore. So the new yeah, regulation... That was the, uh, wasn't the, that called the reserve fund, Tommy? Yes, it was. And so the, the new regulation is that they have to basically, it can break a dollar. And that's really going to, I think it's really going to come down to the point of um, are people still going to allow their money to be put in a money market fund? So if you look at your checking account, folks, and your saving account, and your broker-dealer account, what you're going to see is that when you sign that contract, most of the time that contract, your money is going in that overnight. Okay, just stay right there. Thanks, this, Tommy. this is going to get, you know, it could get very interesting if people say they don't want it in there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Dow is down 23. NASDAQ is up 2. S&P is down 2. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The uh, Dow right now uh, is down 27. The Nasdaq's up one. The S&Ps are down two and a half. We were talking about I'm in uh, John from Philly, and he does happen to be in the den, and that's cool. Um, um, so, I think the, the big issue is going to be this, is that will you and I as clients allow the banks and the broker-dealer community to keep moving your money into the money market funds? Um, and depending what bank you use, the banks are being really aggressive right now trying to move it in there because they use that as an overnight funding mechanism. You know, it's hard to believe, but 
overnight, there's a lot of money made on like one one hundredth of one percent if it can sure. be, you know. And personally, I I wouldn't let them move it into it just because. It's, so when you say that, what what would you do if you weren't going to let them then? You no, know, that, um, that's that's it. You have a checking account. It stays okay. in the checking account. It's yours. Okay. A money market is actually a security. Okay. Sure. Okay. Right. So what happens is okay. that, and they and they've always said this is why the rules been changed. Everyone always thought that no, you always could get your money back, and it's a dollar. And during the debacle of 2008, you couldn't. Okay. What ended up happening is some money market funds they didn't get their money back for three or four months at all. Okay. You couldn't take it out. So that's that. It is a security. Sure. So that's that's the deal. Okay. So if in fact you know uh, everyone starts doing that, then they're gonna have a you know they, I don't think they have a funding problem because uh, interest rates are so so low. But it's cha it's gonna change. It's changing the business already. You know. Sure. Let's go to Al in Texas. Hey Al, what's going on? Hey guys, how you guys doing? Morning, doing great, man. Yourself? Hey, I'm a little uh, kind of well. I got out of a position that took a little, took some of my money. I want my money back. You want your money back? <laughs> I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> There's a long line. Jump in the line. Yeah, right away. I know. Yeah. I know. It's not the first time, but For that's sure. all right. It's, I'm cool. I'm, I'm blessed <laughs> in so many other ways. Um, I was in uh, J Nug, and I just. I held a uh, short position, and you know I just kept hearing and looking at everything. You know, and hearing from a lot of the, you guys, uh, twelve seventy five, twelve eighty, and also with the HUI and the XAU, you know, testing some other loads or testing the Brexit sure. range. And are we are we still there? Or is that is that done? Is that Turkey already done? Okay, I believe what is so the the JNUG folks is the uh, daily 300% bull position of the uh, junior miners. Okay, so what you have inside of this is that on um, August the 10th, uh, yeah, August 10th, it's trading at $32. Last week, it's trading at $15, and it just bounced from 15 to 24. Uh, I, yeah. I believe what the question is is that. Uh, do I specifically think that this would be still going down or the GDXJ, okay. okay, which this that's what this trades off of. The GDXJ went from a price point of uh, $52 down to 41 and it's like, okay, you know, bottom line is it going to fail. Um, my take is that, yeah, it, it's going to, but, you know, it doesn't mean that you should be going in there. <laughs> um, and uh, there's, two, there's two different parts of this question, too. Okay. Is that that downdraft was pretty severe. You know, we'll bounce for three days, but you have to expect a bounce, too. And I know, yeah. and that's what they, if you're trading a, a double or a triple, mm -hmm. that those things are great when they're going with you. They're terrible when they're going against you um, because they move really fast. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Um, you know, to, to go back to the GDXJ, as, you, as you're looking at that, this would be the number for today. You're up $1.90. Mm -hmm. you, you're, you're coming into the 40. Okay, so you're over $47.15. you would be looking for this to close under $47.15. And where, okay. I'm go, where I'm going with that, Al, is this. Is that the, the prior day, I could say the prior day, but to you're stay... You're looking at August 24th. Yes, thank you. Okay, so... Um, yeah, now you're on the prior day, just right. before you. So the prior day is actually when it broke the, you know, the, the bottom out a little, but that's not the real strength. The real strength when this came down, which is the supply line, you know, is like the high of 47.15. So if this actually closed over 47.15, that's saying it could go higher. And it's over that right now. It's 48.32. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, you know, uh, but, I mean... What got me is just uh, the the 1275, 1280 for the gold. Uh, is that going to be tested again, or is it just done? You know, I can see that tested, but the, the same is applicable there too. I mean, things don't make a one-way move. You know what I'm saying? You, you got yeah. to 1305, and the the gold contract is actually given a better indication that it's has a probability of going lower. And what it is is this, mm -hmm. is that it, it already hit the 
50 this morning, and the test is 1346. Yeah. The volume is 300,000, and right now we're at 180. So, you know, if you get a close over 1346, and you're even close to, to I would say, even if you're at 250,000, which you could be, mm -hmm. then that has a shot to get to higher price. Yeah. Why would they be creeping it back up? It's, uh, I mean, uh, with the dollar, I mean, is it just politics going on? It's just, no, uh, no. I, I, I hear you and I feel for you. It's just trading, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm cool. I mean, I, I've, uh, I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still learning. And this is how you learn. You just, uh, I, I just was kind of caught up on just that number and just uh, overlooked some technicals. And uh, that's my fault. No, but, no, you know, no. Like it's, it's not. It's not even a fault, man. This is what ends up happening. So picture this. Okay. The the downdraft was good, okay, but it didn't mean mm -hmm. that it it could have been worse. It could have just kept going. So that's just kind of how this thing goes. And what you do have to do, which and it, is that your your money management and how much heat you can take and what that trade is and what you can take for a risk factor is more important than all of that. Everything we've talked about. Yeah. It, it really is. You know what I'm saying? Because what ends up happening at certain times in the marketplace, I'll take more risk than other times. Um, you know, you know when you have to call uncle and you should know when you call uncle before you actually do the trade. Do you know what I'm saying? And that would be yeah. like, okay, where are you going to get out of the trade if you're wrong? You yeah. Know? Now those, those, Issues are real easy to say. They're really much harder to do. That's that's, that's a reality, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, prior prior to this, uh, the last couple of weeks or whole month, you know, I, I did good. I took out profit, paid the bills, took the kids out. You know, you know, I had fun. But this morning, I just like, uh, okay. <laughs> well, this is this is what. Okay, so check this out. I've had so many different scenarios happen over the course of the years, so I understand that scenario. So what happens with that scenario? is that you, 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 you grabbed it, you, you, you had some bread, then all of a sudden you're playing with less and your risk parameter should be less and it's not less. Yeah. You know, and I, listen, I've done it. I've, I'm just explaining to you that it's like, oh, no, that's a bad day to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well... Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to just see where this gold goes and. Just, no, hey, uh, listen, get stops in. Don't, don't, don't just let this market move. Get stops in, brother. Okay. Uh, all right, brother. Okay, Take care. thanks, man. See ya. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. You stay right there. Dow is uh, down 37. Nasdaq. Uh... Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade C H A U or C H A D. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com.
It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 31. You get the NASDAQ up one. S&Ps are uh, down two and a half. And don't forget, folks, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do live programming from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, from 7 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. All that programming you can get right on your cell phone at TFNN.com. And as you're coming over to our website at TFNN, uh, today is the 750th edition of the Gold Report, and we're doing a special. Uh, it ends today. Um, there's a couple different things that you can do. Uh, if you would like a uh, to get the Gold Report for a year, the cost is $750, and normally if you're paying $85 a month, that cost is $1,020 uh, a year. Uh, that's one promotion. A second promotion is the Tiger Dollars, and the Tiger Dollar promotion goes like this. We do this a few times a year. Uh, you can purchase $600, and you get $750 in Tiger Dollars. Uh, that's a 25% bonus. Uh, that's the first one. The second one, you can buy $1,500. If you do a purchase of $1,500, you get a 50% bonus. You get $2,250. That's a $750 bonus. Uh, all Tiger Dollars, folks, are good at all products at TFNN. Uh, if you uh, get any newsletters right now, whether it's from Basil, Larry, myself, uh, Andy Hecht, Dave White, um, Steve Rhodes, uh, John Logan. Uh, it's good on all products at TFNN. Uh, you stay right there. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be coming up uh, next. Uh, Volume-wise out here, this is what we have happening volume-wise. Uh, volume-wise, it's the lowest volume of the day. And last week in the NYSE, uh, I believe it was last Wednesday, which was the lowest. Uh, this is uh, clicking lower right now. We're at $227 million on the NYSE. We take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ right now is at 544, 534, which also is the lowest volume. Um, the SPY, the SPY has um, uh, already rejected. Um, uh, the SPY has already rejected the uh, highs out here. The SPY uh, had got into a price point of 218.79. Right now you're at uh, 218. Uh, you close under 218 and 90. Bottom line, that's going to be a failure on price and volume. We take a look at the uh, NDX 100. This is what we have with the NDX 100. NDX 100 got to a price point today of $117.60. You close at $117.51 under that level. That also will be a failure on price and volume. Gold, the gold contract uh, right now is 185,000 uh, contracts. That is coming into the uh, 300,000. Uh, so the benchmark on gold is uh, 1346. You close over 1346, guess what? That would be saying you can go up to the next level at this point. Um, it's not over that yet. And it does, that, hey, we'll find out whether the volume will come in. The last time that we had uh, volume in the gold contract intraday was at the 1344 mark, uh, which, which we are at right now. Um, bonds, we go take a look at that bond market. What we have with bonds out here is this. The bond market right now uh, is trading at 131.06. We've done 800,000 contracts. Now, that is tremendously light volume uh, in, inside the bond market. Uh, bond market uh, right now, 
Uh, that is coming into 154,000 contracts as well as 137,000 contracts. So that's the 10-year. We'll see whether the 10-year can actually uh, hang up at these levels. It doesn't look to me that uh, it actually is going to. Uh, if we do take a look at the the Dow, the NASDAQ, uh, you can expect that volatility to continue. What you will have out here, folks, this is what it looks like. It looks like you're going to have a test of the highs on lighter volume once again. What does that set up? That sets up lower prices coming at us the rest of the week. You stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's coming right up. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Dow right now is down 32. NASDAQ is up 2. S&Ps are off 2.5. Basil's coming right up, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.